Hey, Sam friends, welcome to the Joyous Stamp with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's our Fun Fold Friday. Today I'll be using another celebration item that when you can get, when you order $100 worth of product, you can get four free, but I paired it with some other annual catalog items and I'm excited to show you this really simple but fun fold. Go ahead and hold my flip and we'll get started. All right, so this one full today was inspired by a swap I just received this past week. Um, her name was Peggy, and I can't remember her last name to save a life me, and I can't even find the card that she had, but I will have a link in my blog so you can see her card as well. Um, Fun Fold Friday means I love seeing your comments. Please comment if you're watching live, if you're watching after live, up until midnight tonight, or even on YouTube. Please comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about this car design, the Fun Fold, or the dies themselves. Um, one lucky watcher will get the car that I'm making in our video today sent to them to their mailbox. All right, let me go ahead and show you the card and tell you how fun and easy this one is. All right, so first we have this awesome camper right here. I have our designer series paper called He's the Man. Um, and it matches perfectly. Let me get a little closer because it has also these little campers on here as well. So this is a great summer card. In fact, this one already has an envelope ready for it to go to my brother-in-law who loves to camp in the summertime. He is definitely a happy camper. All right, so when we go ahead and open this up, we're going to watch it move. And inside we have some fun looking panels here. We also have our happy birthday. This one comes from the Celebrating You. It's where I got that saying there. And then we have this cute little puppy dog with its paw prints. This is also part of the dies that are part of the camper dies. So let me show you those a little bit and the trees for sale. So this is what it coordinates with. This is from the mini catalog. The Celebration dies are from the Celebration flyer. And so tree lot dies is what they are called that we're using today. And there's, let me see, there's 24 different dies in here. So it, there's so many awesome possibilities and it's a lot of builder dies. So we're going to build the camper today, show you how to do that. And then we'll show you how to make the phone fun fold as well. Um, it's so another look at that cute little camper. Here is another style of car. This is more of a Christmas one versus that one's more of a summer version, but just lots of dies can make you build your own cute little camper. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of the way and we'll get started. Of course, if you order from me this month, use the hostess code so I can send you some extra happy mail in the month of July. And we're trying to figure out what to even name this one because the way that it opens is a little bit different and it kind of has that pocket right here for the square so it can look through. It has like a window. So maybe we'll call it the fun fold window card. I don't know. Think of think of a name for this one. All right. There's lots of pieces and all of the measurements will be over on my blog for all of these pieces. Let me go a little bit by bit and then we'll make our camper. So we have our mint macaroon um, card base here, which I've already glued on our DSP because I needed to die cut it out at the same time with these stylish shapes dies. Let me show you what those look like. So here's the larger square. This is what um, we'll use to make the frame. And here's this medium square. So I die cut this part out with after I glue this one on, running through my die cutting machine. And then we are left with this cute little square here. This, do not throw away. Go ahead and use that for something else. It's super cute and ready to go. And was the little pocket that was in there. And then we also need to die cut a basic white version of this. And that same size, because that's going to be the inside of there. And then I use my early espresso, and both of these dies nestle together at the same time, like that, and created a frame. So we'll glue that on there as well. That's for the front of the card. For the inside of the card, we have a five and a quarter by six scored at two locations at the two and the four and i have a couple extra dies we can use we either have a tree we can make today or use that same puppy from before i think we're going to try a tree one and i'm not going to stamp my greeting on this one for this one i'm going to leave it blank and let you decide what you want to use this one for because this one is going to someone and it will not stay in my home so but i do want to go ahead and stamp a little tree here on the bottom right corner 
I'm gonna get out my mint macaroon ink. And I have that little tree that was from the Trees for Sale, which sadly, I think that one's on unordable at this moment. I think it was such a popular item that it went really fast, especially since it coordinates beautifully with the celebration. Okay, there's our perfect little tree. Let's go ahead and glue on our little brown guy here. I'm gonna pull in our silicon. So I'm using Early Espresso, Basic White, and Mint Macaroon. I try to keep my colors fairly simple and not too many of them, unless I know I'm making more of a rainbow looking card. So these were the colors that were a part of the Designer Series paper, so it was an easy, easy choices for me. I'm just gonna overlay that on that tree that we just stamped, like that. Perfect. All right. To make the fun fold, we have to create kind of like a hinge. So you have these two pieces of mint macaroon measured at half inch by four inches, scored at two inches. Go ahead and fold those in like so. And then we are going to attach this to the back of our six by five and a quarter piece, just like this. Let me make sure I'm doing it right. Yes, that looks right. Okay, you just make sure our score line is, um, facing that direction, <laughs> left. Let me grab, sorry, my tear tape. Because these are hinges, we want them to be able to move. We don't want them to lose their stickiness. So we're gonna use a little bit of tear tape here to attach these. And as far as attaching to the back, you just need to be mindful of where your square has been cut out here. So I'm gonna have it, because we don't want that to show through, so I'm gonna have it right here on the very top and right here on the very bottom. Go ahead and take off the backing off the one. And we're gonna line this up behind this guy. I always have to sec second guess myself when I'm doing adhesive. Okay, there's one there. Perfect. We'll make another one. Flip that over so you can see a little bit better. Line it up to that score. So it's not going over the score though. And that your score is at the edge of the, our piece right there. Okay. And that's what it should look like. This is what is create the spot for our window so that way we can look through it and still attach it to our card base. Let's go ahead and use our bone folder and we'll start to fold these score lines. Fold it back and forth. There we go, that's looking better. Okay, now you should have this piece kind of looking like that. Go ahead and grab our card base and we're going to attach it, these little strips here, to the left of the score here, right on this side. We also are gonna use some more tear tape, also because it doesn't have any dry time. It's already dry and we're going to put these onto the back of our card front. Okay, so I'm going to fold it down like so, or maybe we'll just flip it over and I'll make it easier and I'll turn it so we can see. I'm going to have it going just like here. All right, fold it over, there we go, and the bottom there. Oh, I forgot, I do wanna be mindful that I wanna have this kinda of have a bordered outline to it, so that way it's not right on the edge either. So let me just scoot it just a little bit over. There we go. I'm feeling better about that already. Awesome, so now it looks like half of our square is unseeable from the inside, which is just what we wanted. Now we are going to go ahead and do a practice fold, make sure our folds are going the right way. Yep, we'll fold it down like that. Let's go ahead and grab our bone folder for our card base. And this part you can either use liquid glue or your tear tape or even your seal plus, whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use some liquid glue and then I'm gonna just close 
the back of our card base over there. Just like that, I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit on this side. And then there we go. We have our fun fold created by those adhesives right there. And I did a pretty good job creating a border over here. It's a little bit slanted, but it's not too bad. And it's great, super forgiving because it is on the same color. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and make our frame. Let's grab this and we'll cover up that square. You can leave it bare if you don't want to have the frame. I just like how it ties the colors in a little bit better together. I'm just putting a little bit of liquid glue on there. Close it, add the frame. Okay, press down to make sure it sticks. See, look, my thumb had some adhesive on it, so it stuck to that. Next, what we need to do is add our basic white. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick, open this up. Actually, we're gonna keep it closed and we're gonna put adhesive just on this spot here. So keep it closed. Through our little window. And then we're gonna put our basic white through that window and it will fit perfectly. Cause the same die had cut those out. Just make sure I didn't move it too much when I Hold it through, hold on. There we go. That looks good. So there we go, we have our fun fold part. Now we just need to add our camper to there. And a little bit of embellishments down here on the bottom. For our camper, I'm just using our liquid glue. I've die cut the camper in the mint macaroon and now I have also the early espresso for the top and bottom. The top and bottom is one single die, so it cuts it out at the same time, so that's nice, and embosses at the same time as well. So you'll look at this and you'll notice, oops, I dropped that face down, that's okay, that it's been die cut and embossed. So we have all this extra detail on here. Super fun, and it's one fail, you know, one thing through the um, stamp and cut emboss machine, and have to run it through once to get that embossing and cutting. There we go. And then for the, our tire, you can either leave it plain or you can um, change it up by just doing a little fussy cutting. This one I did a white tire and I'm not super fond of it because it's white on white. So this time what I did was just use a scrap of the Early Espresso and I might just cut off that little tire there and glue that on. Usually I've done the black just to make it a regular black tire. So I'm just gonna cut that piece off and then cut out that center. This is a tiny little piece of cut, so you might wanna use tweezers to help you hold on to it. And just be careful. Pretty good. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of liquid glue here on the tire. And attach. Perfect. Cute. I saw one use another example, use the embellishments. Let me see if I can find, oh, here they are. So I have the Rustic Metallic embellishments here. I'm gonna grab one of them and I'm gonna put them in the center of the tire there. I'm trying to see, let's do the, the larger size for that one. I'll just put it right there. And that looks even, even better, more realistic, right? So this camper is a little bit bigger than the square itself. So I don't wanna put dimensionals underneath it, and I wanna keep nothing behind this because it creates that white look behind it. There are ways to cut out extra pieces like we had on the other one to create a yellow look into the inside instead. That's just a whole extra step. So what we're gonna do is put a little bit of adhesive on the back, some liquid glue. And then I'm gonna slide it in from here. There we go. And then when they open it, they'll see the full the full look of the camper. All right, we just need to embellish just on this bottom bit. I like to have three of these um, rustic metallic dots in a row. Two and three. Trying to make sure we're getting they're pretty even. Not too bad. 
Oh, I love it. Super cute. Easy camper card. Well, easy mostly. Just a couple extra steps and little pieces of paper. Again, please visit my blog so you can see all of the dimensions for this card and the list of supplies. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and leave me your comments. Happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.